<laughs> what you know about that? Bro, I was 19 years old when we rigged that. Mind. You were a child. I was a child. You were unmarried, you had ages and frosted tips. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey just met up with Gabriel. Do you guys remember Gabriel from last week or one a couple weeks ago, whenever it was? I love Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Big Nate Dog is back. He's a married man now. Yeah. He was off for a couple weeks. Boom, boom. This isn't the real thing, by the way. That's not the <laughs> real one. That's that's a placeholder. <laughs> and uh, we're heading over for worship night tonight. Let's do it. When you begin to lift your voice, you are literally enthroning him in that place. You're enthroning him over that situation. This is so much more than a couple of fast songs and a couple of slow songs and a goosebump. This is so much more than the next celebrity worship leader or the next hit record. This is about God coming to earth. So, it's kind of like a paragraph of a question, but I'll do it fast. I understand, as a worship leader, I believe and understand my responsibility as a worship leader in the worship setting, when we're talking about the congregation, the band, and the person who's leading. How much responsibility falls on the leader and how much on the congregation as far as where we're going? Directionally, so I get asked this question quite a bit. So my answer to that is the congregation they are focused on what they're focused on. They're going to work, they're raising their families. Your, your focus, if, especially if you're in vocational ministry, you're focused on, okay, I need to get these people to another level. Yeah. The way that you can do that is by teaching on worship. The more you teach on it, the more you give understanding, the more you give language, they're going to begin to come up to a level and it takes time, right? That like, just like you didn't become a, a phenomenal worship leader overnight. It just takes time. I know a lot of people get frustrated. Like, well, how come these people aren't worshiping? Like I've been with Jesus all week long. Well, especially if you're in vocational ministry, of course you have, like that's your job and awesome. Yeah. Some of these people, they had a rough week at work or family was rough or they're coming from broken homes or whatever. If they're showing up, I genuinely believe that they're, they are willing, mm -hmm. but many times they just don't know how. What's up, guys? <clears throat> we are here. What's up? It's okay. We're here eating some melon, gearing up for. What's up? What's up, man? Beleza. We're gearing up for our monthly Heart of David call that we have in a few moments. We're in Jersey. It's been an amazing time. We are heading over to Connecticut this afternoon for some more worship blowout. It's going to be really great. Also here in a little bit, I'm going to be sitting down with Jason Upton, and we're going to be discussing how worship is not necessarily a linear thing. It's not about who can get from point A to point B the quickest. Worship is more circular. Obviously, God does not worship man, but when man worships God, God in his love and his humility talks to man and there is a conversation that happens in the place of worship we're going to be speaking about that in a little bit but first gotta hit this call up sometimes if you include the, the rebuilding of jerusalem and ezra and nehemiah that every time they go to have revival every time there's this awakening again in israel they were the first thing they do is they restore the priesthood they, they rebuild the temple they they restore the culture of worship in the society. So we just jumped on our monthly Heart of David global phone call. We've got over 40 cities who are carrying the Heart of David uh, banner all over the U.S. And we're just jumped on right now. It's a monthly family gathering for about 30 or 45 minutes. I'm going to jump in. Jose Diaz. Yeah, you know Jose. 
And uh, so Jason just spoke a really beautiful message this morning on how God fills our life with space and not to yeah. be afraid of the space. And yeah. it was really good. But we're here yeah. together in Jersey right now. Oh, it's so good. So just wave at the peeps there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys. And uh, so these are some of our reps in cities That's from amazing. all over America. We do a monthly call just what to encourage cool them. Thing. So it's cool. What's up, guys? I'm here with Jason Upton. Yes. Love you. Yes. And we were talking about... How, how worship is not necessarily linear. It's not about who can get from A to B the quickest. Mm. And it's not just vertical. Not that God worships man, because he doesn't. But there is a conversation in the place of worship, and we need to talk about that a lot more. Plenty of vertical singing to God, going up the mountain, up, up, up. But there's also, at the same time, Peter saying, hey, Jesus, this is the one place we understand you. We understand you. We get you up here with Moses and Elijah. And Jesus says... You know, what happens? They go face down on the ground because God comes in and says, listen to my son. And what does Jesus say? He says, get up. Don't be afraid. And we're going to do what you're actually terrified of. You, you think it's God and me being up here with Moses and Elijah and you want to make tabernacles here that you can kind of visit every once in a while. But what you're actually terrified of is this sort of... Yeah. Uh, the this, journey. The journey. The process. So I'm going to take you down into this valley and show you where the real life is. I'm going to take you down into this valley. We're going down... So who is, get who is, up and come walk it? with me. Was it was it Chamberlain? Who was the guy that you said that man's point is the destination? Oh, yeah, God's that's point? Oswald Chambers. Oswald, Oswald Chambers. In my utmost first highest, I can't remember what date it is, but right, he right. says, he you know, says with, with, with humanity, the end is the goal. But with, with, with Jesus, the process is the end. I think what happens sometimes is we go for these expressions that everybody can get on board with on a Sunday because there isn't that much activity going on. But the more activity that's happening, and I get that because I go to church on Sundays and I'm home, you know, and I get, okay, people are sort of out of place and they got, let's sing some pop songs and get everybody in, right? Of course. Um, but I don't think it's wise to teach our poets and our songwriters that, hey, keep your poetry to yourself. Don't ever sing something that somebody won't understand. No. You know, what, what Jesus is after, what pleases his heart is the activity of our worship. And that means that our expression it can expand, but what 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 God's wanting to do around the world is, is is get that ex, that 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 activity expanding. <laughs> what you know about that, bro? I was 19 years old when we break that. Mind. You were a child. I was a child. You were unmarried. <laughs> You're a different man, oh, bro. You know too much. I just, I just got that on video. You shook your head, and there's like all this glory bro, dust, glory. like behind you. That's Me? Gross. No, like look, look behind you. You can see all that stuff floating. Yeah, That's dangerous. from his bro, hair. It's good for you. It's my hair is healthy. Just got here it's to Connecticut. Bro. We're on our way to do the meeting right now. Uh, as you've just watched, had a great little connect with Jason. Um, anyways, so we're on our way now to do a meeting tonight and tomorrow morning, but I uh, just wanted to encourage you guys on this episode, don't be afraid to go after what we are talking about uh, in mine and Jason's conversation about the, the circular conversation in the place of worship. Again, I just want to say again and again. I am not saying that God worships man. God does not worship man. But there is a place in worship where man talks to God and God in his humility, in his love, he responds and talks to man. And there's that conversative circle. So go for it. I love you guys. Thanks for following here on the Slingshot video blog. Stay tuned, man. We have incredible, incredible stuff coming that you don't want to miss. It would mean the world to me if you liked and subscribed to the channel here. Love you guys. We'll see you next week.